Whew, everyone. So it's past midnight and I'm totally hyped up. <laughs> My sleep schedule is not good at the moment. My stockpile is very good at the moment. I'm 1,500 uh, words away from reaching the sixth chapter and I want to do it um, today. Like writing like it's NaNoWriMo. For NaNoWriMo you need around, I don't know exactly, 1,700 words per day. So I will do tomorrow or today a test um, if I'm able to write that many words on a day. <laughs> I'm still not sure about it. Yeah, why I'm hyped up? I'm hyped up because of several reasons. One is I'm writing a plasma sword fight. And uh, plasma swords, they're in Halo and in Star Wars. And plasma swords are pretty common throughout fantasy. And in real life, there are plasma torches. And um, you can use them to cut uh, metal very cleanly. And uh, so there is something to base a plasma sword on. But can a plasma sword be parried? I really doubt that. I sent out a Twitter question and I sent it to an institute for plasma physics as well and I hope that they come back to me soon. It would be the best if they came back right away because ah, it bothers me, you know. You know, plasma sword fights. Then uh, the second reason I'm hyped up is because I'm inventing a mini game for hacking. For hacking in my lit RPG uh, world. So you can hack halfway realistically with using scripts, but you can also play it on a mini game mode where the scripts are represented by little um, figures. They fight it out. <laughs> uh, and I based it on chess. So every script has uh, its own way of moving and um, its own way of attacking and attack rate. It's not as symmetrical as chess because one party is the firewall and the other is the hacker and you've got slight advantages um, if you are the firewall. I make a separate video about this game. So um, I built a game board and little pieces of papers for the figures and played a few rounds, changed the rules, played another few rounds against myself, and this is no way to test the game. I need opponents. So I will spend uh, the weekend looking for opponents with my family and friends, and um, I'm looking forward to it, to really get a rule set out for it, and fix the movement, fix the attack, fix the stats, fix the balancing, fix all the stuff. Um, but I think I will make the video sooner. So for the first version of the game, without all the fixing, that um, I don't have to explain it to all my friends separately, but can just say, oh, watch the video on the rules and uh, now we can start playing. So I'm excited about this. And of course, it's um, the little figures have HP and to keep track of the HP, I have to write it down. And I messed up some of the 
there is a setting for initiative, who's come first and who's come second, and I think I messed up it a few times, and this all would be so much easier if I would program it as a video game. Yeah, you see where this is going. I was a programmer and I like programming and I miss it a bit. So I watched a few videos about mobile programming. I am very specialized in ABAP, ABAP, that's the SAP programming language and it's not a programming language for games at all. <laughs> Good. So I have several options. Another programming language I'm a bit familiar is Visual Basic. No, not Visual Basic, the normal, no, normal basic. The, oh, Visual Basic for applications. So um, programming Excel sheets. And this would be a suitable medium for programming the game, but I don't have Excel, <laughs> and it's expensive. <laughs> oh, yes. So another option is programming it in ABAP. I'm sure there are some nerds out of there who program chess in ABAP. I'm sure of it. So maybe I can find it and do basing my programming it. Um, on it, but of course I've got no ABAP development environment as well. But um, I knew that uh, 20 years ago SAP gave out CDs with a dummy R3 and there was a software development uh, surrounding in it, so... I might can install a mini R3 on my PC <laughs> and use it for app development. I'm not sure about it as well. Hmm. Okay, the next thing. It would be great if I developed it as an, a mobile app. I have no experience at all in developing mobile ads, uh, apps. But why not? I mean, I wrote Hello World programs in dozens, dozens of languages, so why not start with a new one? And I can publish the app, perhaps other people would enjoy it as well. So I think mobile app is a real, um, real option. But there's much learning, and of course, I won't program it during NaNoWriMo in November. If I program it during NaNoWriMo in November, I will of course uh, count the Quell code as the Quell code, the source code as uh, in my word count for NaNoWriMo. Fourth option. I use as a spreadsheet OpenCalc and I could start programming in OpenCalc. I think I might need it in future as well, so this would be another option, but the most boring option of all. I can't share it. I can't play it with other people online. It hasn't the coolness factor of ABAP. <laughs> Every SAP uh, developer who listens to this uh, starts puking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coolness factor of ABAP. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's leave it like this. I miss programming and I believe I will start programming. Another programming project is um, programming a bot for Discord. I have a releases channel in my Discord server and I am sick of updating it manually because there are reasons why I am software developer, because software de developers are sick of doing things manually. 
I found a Discord bot to listen on my YouTube channel and update it. And YouTube has events where the bots can listen to. But I don't know if the other platforms I upload my story throw events when a new chapter is uploaded. So I don't even know if it's possible. Or I have to uh, trick around that. And I know nothing about web development, so it will be a time sink to learn it. It's uh, the typical case of programming something several days long that uh, will um, improve my work by several seconds or minutes. <laughs> yeah, but if I miss programming too much and my hacking game doesn't work out, uh, this is definitely a topic I can come back to. To my story, I still get very good feedback for the chapters and my subscribers are still thinking on Royal Roads or let's say stagnating. They um, fluctuate about 600 and uh, I still don't know what to do about it. I mean, one option is to rework the earlier chapters to hook them, but on the earlier chapters I had growth. It's maybe the later chapters that were not that good. I didn't came to um, analyzing the chapters that I think are weaker than the others. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I should get this done before the 1st of November as well. The next video will be introducing my hacking game. Maybe, I don't know when I upload it, maybe Friday or... On Sunday, I'm making another video. It will probably be about my NaNoWriMo prep. And then uh, next week, I don't know when November will start, but I guess we're getting pretty close to it. Yeah, see you in the next videos and subscribe and like. And if you know about Plasma, Swords or plasma torches, please write the information down below. Uh, I am thankful for every link and for every hint how a plasma sword might react in a fight, um, especially parrying and if they came close to another plasma swords because, okay, plasma is ionicized, ionicized, ion you know what I mean? If you know plasma, if you don't know plasma and physics, you will not know what I mean, and I'm not even sure if I expressed it right. So um, there are different, I don't even have the English words for it, like positive and negatives, and particles. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't write sci-fi. I should write historical romances. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.